Hello, don't attempt to adjust your video. I control the penny box and I have it upside down. <laughs> yes, we're gonna see if this one. Ooh, I'm bumping the camera. Let's see if this has circulated pennies. Yay, we have circulated pennies. We're we gonna have a hunt. 2024, it might be a partial box. There's a 2024 roll. Looks like another 2024 roll. Kind of looks like a partial box. So I'm gonna have at least a half a box of pennies if these are all rolls of new 2024. Kind of looks like they might be. 2024, let's just get a nice close look at that. 2024, 50. Yep, I'm gonna have some full rolls there. All right, well, let me get this sorted. We'll go through the rest of these rolls and see what's going on in here and hopefully have some pretty cool finds. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> Coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. And yes, these are brand new 2024 rolls. It looks like I have 15 rolls of these and then 35 um, circulated rolls. So I'll search through, I'll probably crank through a few of these and just see what's going on. See if I see anything interesting. Uh, but I'll be back and we'll uh, get through the 35 rolls and I'll let you know if you find anything or if I find anything interesting in here as well. Okay, second roll on the hunt here. I've got a 1983. I was checking out for the uh, double dies on this one. And this one here has a line through here. Um, at first I thought it was a really weird scratch, uh, just a really deep scratch. But as I got to looking at it, it is uh, struck through, it's like a wire or something. I got struck through, got pressed into the coin there. It's not in there anymore. Um, looking up and under uh, intense magnification, there is no buildup, no scratch marks, no moved metal. It's just a uh, straight indented area there. But either way, it looks really interesting. Um, so we have a strike through. On roll seven, we got our first wheat scent find here. We got a wheat scent in roll seven. Let's see, ooh, and it's a 30s, 1939. Just barely into the 30s, but it's always good seeing the 30s or earlier scent. So that is cool. That's a nice little wheat scent there. We'll put it up here and keep going. Roll number 10, we got our second wheat scent here. This one is a little bit uh, gunky there. And it is a 1953 out of Denver. Cool. Very nice. Second wheat scent. We are on roll number 11. And we've got another wheat scent here. Just poured it out. Saw it sticking out. So let's take a look. 1944 out of Denver. Very cool. That's our third wheaty so far. Roll 13. And I've got a Canadian back here. Let's pull it out and take a look. 1981, 1981 Canadian. That is the first foreign find. All right, roll of 25. We've got a 1944. That's another weedy. Very cool. Um, one, two, three, four weedies. All right, we are on the final roll of this on roll 35. Um, and we have here a weed set. 1956 out of Denver. Cool. That I think is going to be our last tweets, and I don't see any others in here. So I'll probably be back with a wrap up unless there's anything else spectacular in this roll. All right, time to wrap up here. We ended up with five wheat cents, uh, 39, two 44s, a 53, and a 56. Um, we had one Canadian. And we had the 1982-1983 with the strike through through states and through United and into the states here. Very interesting looking. Um, we ended up with a dozen um, 2009s with the Lincoln reverses. Um, some of them look decent, so those might uh, help against the album. We've probably got um, 
maybe about a dozen, maybe about two dozen uh, nicer ones over here to check against the albums. But I don't know if we're gonna do any upgrades there. So let me uh, let me get these checked against the albums, and we'll be right back and see what we got going on with those. Our first album, the Wheat Scents. Um, the five Wheat Scents we had did not replace the ones in here, so we had no fills or upgrades for this one. For book number two, we've got a 1975 added number, a little bit nicer, cleaner than the one that's in there, so I'm going to upgrade that one. And then we got a pretty nice and clean 1998 that's going to replace this one. It has some some spots on it. That's it for book number two. For book number three, I got a pretty nice and clean 2007. The one we have in there is nice. I'm going to take a good look at it. This one has a little bit of a, maybe a scratch there uh, towards the rim. I think I like this one better. It looks better in hand than it is showing up on camera, I believe. So I'm going to take a good look at that. I might switch that one out. And then we have a 2015 here that is just a cleaner example. This one has some surface dirt on it and stuff, some surface discoloration. This one just looks like a nice cleaner example. I'm going to upgrade that one. And same for this 2023 out of Denver. This one here has some surface discoloration spots and what have you. This one is just a nice, more even, evenly colored scent, so I will swap that out. Okay, so all in total for the three albums, we had uh, five upgrades. Not bad. Out of the 35 rolls, um, five, five wheat scents is a little less than average of what I usually see. But still, finding five wheat scents in a little more than half a box is still pretty good. Um... And having some uh, coins upgrade your albums, always a nice uh, nice thing to, to do. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, Feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.